Hey folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your phone to the Canon Connect app via Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth. I don't mess with the Bluetooth connection because I've had all sorts of issues with it. There's a reason why this app has a low rating. So first thing we have to do is go in. And we're gonna go to the Canon Connect app in your app store. Okay, as you can see, there's over 10 million downloads with a rating of 2.9 out of 5 and and that's deserved okay this is not the greatest app uh, it has issues connecting especially with Bluetooth I've have I've have all have had all sorts of issues with this so you're gonna download that and open it the most secure connection and the best way to use it that I've found for me personally is through the Wi-Fi connection so that's what I'm gonna show you okay I'm not gonna mess with the Bluetooth because like I said I've had issues and you know, it might be phone related, it might be on my end, I don't care. I don't mess with it because of that. I need it to work and when I go to Wi-Fi it works. Turn on your 90D and we're gonna come over here to the Wi-Fi tab. Okay, in the Wi-Fi tab you're gonna come up here. We're going to enable everything and Bluetooth. Just enable it. Phone nickname, put in what you'd like. Okay. All right, so that's the name of mine. All right, so now that we have that set up, come over to the connection guide and hit easy connection guide. Now, I've already connected it like three different times, but I'm gonna reconnect it here. Okay, camera type, just type in 90 and it'll pull it up. You don't want the 9000D, you want the EOS 90D. I'm gonna tap on that, okay. Is your camera that? Yes. Bluetooth is recommended. I don't care. I'm using Wi-Fi because every time I try Bluetooth, I have issues, like I've said. Now, maybe you have better luck with that. I don't know. I'm doing Wi-Fi in this video. Next, next, next. Okay, so what we're going to do now is come over here to... Here, we're going to hit connect to smartphone so if you saw what I did there I hit Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection tap that we're gonna hit connect to smartphone add device it's an Android I'm not gonna mess with that I've tried that and it comes up on here as no code so I'll show you that here box up here it shows a QR code you're gonna hit that now you're gonna come over with the QR code once you get all the way to that there it goes qr code not valid qr code doesn't contain any <laughs> info to this app okay let's try this. pain in the butt didn't work so i'm going to hit set okay and i'm going to hit connect via wi-fi now it's searching okay and then here's the password i'm going to need so we're going to go next 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 then here it'll say display sm smartphones Wi-Fi setting screen. Okay. Now it's scanning, and if you wait a second, there it is, right there. Now you will enter your password that's unique to your phone. You can set it so you don't need a password. If uh, five three, All right, I don't know. Did I get that? Okay, you're not going to tap into my phone over the internet with the password. I'm not worried about that. Okay, so now it's doing that. It's going to kick your Wi-Fi off here in a second. Okay, so it says connect only this time. Allow switch, stay connected. You're going to hit stay connected, and it's going to kick me off from my Wi-Fi. So right now I'm not using my Wi-Fi connection. I'm using my data. I have unlimited data. That's why I use the Wi-Fi connection. It's much more secure. And most of the time when I need to use this, I'm usually out of the house filming remotely or something. And I need to, I just want to start and stop or take a selfie of myself, you know, something like that. So anyways, now we're connected there. So we're going to go back. Once you hit back and back, once you exit the guide, hit OK. OK, there we go. Now connect to this smartphone. Okay, it's gonna ask you permission here. You're gonna hit OK. Connections established. 
All right. Now that we are connected, now I have basically full access of my camera from my phone. So I can view images if I want. Now I have a 256 gig card in here. It's a fairly fast card, but I'm still going over Wi-Fi. So this is going to take a while, and then it will pull up your images, and you can scroll through them. All right. Now I'm not going to – oh, there they are. <laughs> I said I'm not going to wait as they pull up. So there you go. You got a bunch of images on there you can pull up. Okay. Or you can go into live view mode, which is what I use it for. And now, this is the really cool part. Now you have, let me pull this over. I am now officially in total control of my camera here. And as you can see here with the movement, here, let's go, let me show you the speed. The reason I prefer the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth is because the connection speed is almost simultaneous as far as the lag. As you can see here, I'm moving. Now here, there I am in the, you can see me in the reflection here. Uh, let me show you how fast this works as far as taking the picture. You just simply, so I mean it's, it relays the message instantly and there it is. Now on here you can also adjust your settings, your white balance, your autofocus method, your drive. I'm on the AV mode, which it shows right here, AV F4.0. I'm using the, um, on here is the 24, I believe. Maybe the 40, let's see. No, that's a 40 millimeter. Okay, so that's a F2.8. So I can adjust the aperture if I want. There, take the picture. So as you can see, you have full control over your camera here. You can change your exposure meter. ISO, you have full control over, you know, your basic settings here. And as you can see here with my movement, it is extremely responsive, very little lag, and it keeps a really solid connection here. And this is why I use this versus the Bluetooth. Again, I, I don't like the Bluetooth. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm not even going to show you how to do it because I've tried and certain phones works great. Other phones doesn't. It might be me. It might be the software. I don't know. I don't mess with it. I'm showing you how to do Wi-Fi. <laughs> so see that? You can adjust your focus on here as well. So if this was on a tripod, for example, this is how you would take a selfie of yourself. With Because once you, let's say you wanted to use the self timer, the self timer does not focus after you initiate it. So if you want to, initiate it the self timer and jump in front of the camera you're not going to be in focus unless you like mir miraculously set the depth of field and all that perfectly and stand in the right spot this here you can just easily get your phone position it how you want point to yourself no matter how far away you are you know within reason here and just smile and after you initially have it set up let's see how long it takes to get back into it Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera off. We're going to exit everything. Okay, so I'm, I'm out of everything. Now I'm going to turn the camera on, open the app. Okay, from, from the jump. Now what you have to do here to get back in to reconnect, what you're going to do is you're going to go here and go hit, hit your phone that you just went to. You can go here. EOS 9G Wi-Fi. You can hit next and go all the way to the display smartphone. So you can go this route through the app, tap on it, and you're connecting. Once that says connected and kicks you off your wi your internet or whatever, the Wi-Fi, you go back, exit, and as soon as you exit that, you're back in connections established, and you can go right back to live view mode. Okay, that's one way to do it. The other way to connect fairly quickly. Um, so let's close everything. So here, Canon Connect, turn the camera on, hit OK. You can bypass a lot of this stuff and just go tap that. And if you want to go into your Wi-Fi settings, just wait a second, it'll pop up and you're connected, just like that. So those are the two ways you can connect very easily.
Okay, connection established, and you're connected, live views available. So that's the, those are the, the methods that I use to connect. Like I said, I don't mess with the Bluetooth. That doesn't mean that I'm right. That's, you know, I'm not saying that. You know, there's a lot of different ways to use this. I don't use the Bluetooth. Look up top at the top here. I want to show you this. Look right here, video mode. You can switch over to photo right there. You hear it switch to video mode. And you can record video just like that from your phone. How awesome is that? So what else can you do on here? Live view rotation, rotate the screen 90 degrees, lock screen orientation, mirror live view mode. See, look, you get a whole bunch of settings in here. And just the fact that you can toggle on your phone between video and photo without physically having to come to your, your toggle switch here is pretty cool. Just has a lot of cool options, especially for YouTubers or people that are filming or, or like the solo filmer like I am. I'm almost 99% of the time I'm the only one filming my stuff. So this is so useful for me. So I don't have to get up and keep hitting stop, start, all that. Okay, that is it, folks. That is how you connect the 90D to the Canon Connect app via Wi-Fi. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this uh, helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, that's it. Have a fantastic day.